So, cybersecurity, a trap or a bait? What if I told you guys that there are systems designed to get hacked on purpose? Welcome to the world of honeypots. Some computers exist just to lure the hackers in, like a digital trap disguised as a treasure. It's called a honeypot. And no, it's definitely not sweet. It's actually savage. So let's break it down in a way that even your seven-year-old cousin can understand. So a honeypot is a fake system set up to look like a real one. It might have fake files, fake logins, and even fake databases. But here's the plot twist. It's actually all bait. The second a hacker touches it, bam, they've been caught. Think of it like a glowing treasure chest in a video game, sitting out in the open. And the moment someone opens it, a trap activates and catches you. So why would we do this? Well, first of all, we want to learn how attackers operate. So let's dive in a real world example. So let's say a company wants to test the network security. They would set up a honeypot server with fake employee credentials. A hacker scans the network, finds it and breaks in. Meanwhile, the security team is watching everything what tools they're using, what files they're trying to steal, even where the attack came from. It's like setting a camera trap in the wild to study lions, except the lion has a laptop and a hoodie. Now, why does it matter? Well, it allows us to catch bad actors without risking the real data. It teaches defenders how hackers think, waste attacker time and burns their tools, and it can alert you early to the bigger threats. Some honeypots even feed threat intelligence to help others stay safe too. So yeah, hackers, be aware. That juicy looking system might just be watching your back. So if honeypot finally makes sense and you feel 10 times smarter, hit follow. Because I'm turning cybersecurity into a language anyone can understand. And please tell me in the comments, would you like to set a trap for hackers or let them take the bait?